Hi there, everybody, and welcome to this group stage match where the stakes are high, Alan. They are, and when in tournament play, it's all about uh, consistency of performance and very much a question of concentration. I think it will be here. Second match, match day two, in the group stage of this competition. Yeah, well, already we've seen some fireworks in this competition and uh, maybe a few more to come. Now we can check on the lineup. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Here's how the German team line up today. Well, more often than not, we're looking at teams that shape up this way, Alan. Yeah, such a popular system, 4-2-3-1. It gives you a lot of stability, and if you're front four, as you might describe them, are good players, it's a really potent system. Gori trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. The shot's on! Great hands. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. Alushi. Celia Sasic. Good defensive play, no cross and no danger now. They've got a corner now. Well, you can see what they were trying to do. Just a bit too much height on it. It's gone straight to the goalkeeper. And the cross coming in. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there. Kessler to Alushi and it will go into the middle now and it's a heading chance now Alushi cross coming in now they put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper Vladimir Alushi. Marazan! And the ball's in. It's a goal. Well, that was very subtle, wasn't it, to get the goal? Yeah, you don't always have to blast it. Jimmy Greaves, all those years ago, used to show us the way in that respect, and she's done exactly the same there. Lovely stroke of the ball. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Well, that could change things. The goal that we felt we needed has come along. It's been a bit dull, it's been a bit dire at times. The goals do change matches. Let's hope for everybody's sake that's the case here. Nothing wrong with that tackle. In fact, it was a terrific effort. I think the two teams were going to play on here, but the referee has stopped it for this injury. Well, the injured player has gone off. We're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. First half has been quite tense here, reflected in the way the crowd has reacted, but they have seen the scoring being opened and it's really set up for the second half. It is set up. I mean, it's been a tight game. If that continues, obviously the team with their noses in front will fancy themselves. I just hope that it gets a little bit more exciting.
Here we go into the second half of this second match in the group stage. Yeah, looking forward to it. It was uh, quite a closely run affair, so uh, I wonder if that will continue in this second half. Here's Callum Knight. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. an easy interception because the pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one this might be it off target <laughs> substitution coming up as they look to make sure they hold their lead till the final whistle Goes out wide again. Oh, in goes the cross. It's a fine tackle. And the opposition court coming forward. There might be some gaps here. Gori. Nevada struck the post here. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. And this is going to be a change here for the team that is leading. And it's clearly a tactical one to try and cement that winning position. Is Kellen Knight. Free kick in a dangerous position. Look at that wall. They've sneaked forward again. The referee's had enough of this. Out comes the card. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. Final whistle. 